Hi, I'm Dr. John Chassar, the President and CEO of the GBMC Healthcare System, and I'm here to give you our bi-weekly update on the coronavirus pandemic in Maryland, in the world, and at GBMC. So as you've all heard from the relatively frequent news conferences held by our governor, we are in the midst of a resurgence of the uh, pandemic. Over the last two weeks, the number of patients in Maryland hospitals has increased significantly. If there is any good news in this surge with regard to the hospitals, we have not seen the utilization of the intensive care units like we did uh, early last spring but we all need to get back in action. A reminder, this virus spreads through respiratory droplets. So wearing of a mask is the best way to keep from spreading the virus from yourself to others, and it also has benefit in keeping yourself safe if you come within six feet of someone who has the virus. You can also transmit the virus from your hands to your face and then have the virus get into your body through your nose or your eyes. So washing your hands is also something that we should not stop doing. And again, if you stay at least six feet away from others, you are reducing the probability that you are getting the virus. Which brings us to the conversation about indoors versus outdoors. Many are saying that this spike in the number of cases could have been anticipated because we are now in late fall and about to go into the winter. And as the outdoor temperature uh, goes down, people turn indoors. And when you are indoors, you are just much more likely to come within six feet of others, and you are much more likely to pick up a respiratory particle that has come from someone who has the disease. So this leads us to the preventive messages uh, as we go into the holiday season, which is try to avoid gatherings of people indoors. And if you're gathering out of doors, stay six feet away from others. So there may be some ideas there for your Thanksgiving and holiday get-togethers. Try to do it with fewer people. And if you can do it, try to do it outdoors. What about at GBMC? This morning we have 21 COVID-19 positive patients at GBMC. If you heard my update two weeks ago, that we now have about double the number of cases that we had a mere two weeks ago. So yes, GBMC is seeing the same upswing that you're hearing about on the news in Maryland, across the country, and in many other parts of the world. So we at GBMC are a bit concerned, and we need you, the members of the community, to do the right thing to make sure that we can uh, treat you and your friends, neighbors, and loved ones if they need help. I want to assure you that GBMC is ready to help you uh, if you have a need, and we are continuing to test everyone for COVID-19 before they get an elective procedure. No one is going to the operating room or into our endoscopy suite uh, unless they are COVID-19 negative. Uh, short of an absolute emergency where it can't wait. I also want to spend a moment today talking about the possibility of one or more vaccines becoming available in the next month or so. You heard on the news that the Pfizer vaccine is 90% effective with the data they have collected so far. If that turns out to be the case as they are finishing their trial, that is fabulous news. We were hoping for a vaccine that was 60 to 70% effective. A vaccine that is 90% effective 
will provide even more protection to our community. I see no evidence that the scientists at the Food and Drug Administration or the Centers for Disease Control will allow themselves to be part of a program that does not follow strict scientific guidelines. So I would encourage all of you to get ready to take the vaccine when the scientists at the FDA and the CDC say that the vaccine is truly safe and effective. And we are hoping that there are other vaccines besides the Pfizer vaccine that get approved by the FDA for use. Obviously, we will start with first responders getting the vaccine, police, fire, emergency medical technicians, doctors and nurses who work in emergency departments, and doctors, nurses, and other clinicians who work in the hospital, especially those in intensive care units. After that, seniors will get immunized and people with chronic disease. And finally, the entire rest of the community will be offered the vaccine. How long will it take for all of those groups to be immunized? I suspect it will take us well into 2021 to get all that done. But it won't work if the citizens do not take the vaccine. So get ready. We want all the data to be transparent. We want smart people to have the information they need to make the right decision. But I want to assure you that if the scientists at the FDA and the CDC approve the vaccine, I will be among the first in line when my turn comes to get the vaccine. If we can get the bulk of American citizens vaccinated, that is how we will end the pandemic and get rid ultimately of the masks. So thank you very much for everything you're doing. I want to thank the healthcare personnel as they're standing up yet again to this surge. And I hope to see you soon. GBMC is ready for you if you need us. Thank you.